YouTube just a video on all my laws, a uh, quick video because I have that many and uh, if you want a Pacific video on Pacific laws let me know and I'll be happy to do it. Um, these four boxes are the ones I take out with me, just some shads, savage gear, spinners, spinner baits, um, some crank baits there, weaver's frog, just bits and bobs. Um, Nori's weedless hooks, um, some uh, black minnows, just random weedless ones I take. So I fish in the river a lot of the time. Um, these are plugs, um, water dog, um, Lucky Craft Sammy that is 115. I've had a 16 pound pike on one of them, which was really cool to see. Pike that big hit, one off the surface. Daiwa, that's a Rapala, these two are Mega Bass. Um, people say Rapalas are expensive, they're 10 quid where I come from. This is £22.50, Megabass Pop X, I have 10 of them, and these are £30 in the UK. So that's for, for the price I bought that, you could buy three Rapalas. Um, I don't pay that price for them because I get them from Japan, so I get them a lot cheaper. I wouldn't pay £30 for a law, but you probably think I would if you see how many I've got. Savage gear, 13 centimeters. They're good laws. A lot of people like them. Right. Um, they're all soft plastics. I got. I won't go through them all. I have too many. Some little shads, some kill tails, little grubs. I have anything from drop shot in there, all the way up to bottom pipe shads and whatnot. Some worms, just bits and bobs, bits of everything in here. All drop shot and perch stuff and pike bits of everything if you want a video on all of them let me know and I'll show you more depth on them um, these are expensive ones um, that's Mega Bass Daiwa I just brought that because it had loads of laws on it for a painting I thought it looked nice that's a Mega Bass Pop Max Zonk Mega Bass Mega Bass or Mega Bass um, that's a Mega Bass these two are Mega Bass these two are Mega Bass Mega Bass these are Mega Bass. They're made from wood, handmade. Nice little ones. Yeah, um, these are IMA. M2 Assault Skimmers. These are all IMA. That's not an IMA. That's a Mega Bass. Zunk, Mega Bass. I can't remember the name of that, but it's from Japan and it's expensive anyway. But yeah, it's a nice law. Um, that's a DUO, 20 centimeter, very long. Um, next up, uh, just some random jerks, some um, fox uh, shads. There you go. It's uh, fish arrows there. Um, savage gear spinner baits. I have four currently at the moment. I've lost two, so I ordered another three, so I've got seven. Um, there's some Norries, Savage Gear there, Norries, I like Norries, I have quite a few Norries, there, there, there are all my Black Minnow bodies, three in a pack as you see I've got a lot, they're expensive, really old Fox Spinner, Spinner bait there, um, these are really old Fox Laws, you get them on eBay a lot, people will say they're rare or super rare, I wouldn't really go as far to say they're really rare because they pop up on eBay quite a lot, but you can't really buy them in shops. So they're quite rare. They're not always easy to find a specific one, or you have to keep waiting for them to pop up on eBay. Um, these are on eBay a hell of a lot. If I can get this hook off. But um, I lost a kill tail for my one. But I've got plenty of kill tails to replace it. But one of them and you have a kill tail on the end you get them a lot on ebay mine's in mint condition i have had another one that i lost to catching pipe in it there's a big fox spinner about 100 bloody gram spinner that is and um, these are the really old ones um, you can buy these fox ones are quite new they're the older version i have quite a lot of them all different sizes going to very big about 150 grams each and that um, these are all made of wood they're all really old fox laws that you just don't really get anymore I have a lot of them 
Uh, I've got them all as a package. That's why most of them are like mint. I haven't got around to using all of them yet. But I do have a big collection of them. So if anyone wants to see them, let me know. Because you don't really get videos on YouTube of these. But that one that I said there that you get a lot on eBay. That's what they look like. But that's just a smaller version of it. A little mini one. Um, there's Savage Gear. Four play, they're the plastic ones. These ones are metal, they're 19 centimeters. People go quite mad for that color and that size. We have them. I have a pike one, that's a 25 centimeter, the 19 centimeter, 13, and a 9.5. I really like the pike pattern one, I get a lot of pikes on them. Random D Woe, Savage Gear Eels, some random Dialaws. Uh, what else do we have? Some random ones there. Random spinners and spoons, all different makes and sizes. And um, that box, I know they're all Mets, just random old Met spinners. Uh, it's a big blue fox spinner there. Just random jigs. Just bits and bobs to put on the Savage Gear to dive them, soft plastics. And um, that box is very expensive, <laughs> it's a Mega Bass box. You're probably talking a while over about six, seven hundred quid of laws just in that one box. You can see there, they're all mega bass like pop maxes. I have ten. There's two there. There's three in there. There's another one there. Another two back there. I've got another two in the post. Bit silly, but I like mega bass. Two pop X's, another pop X. But yeah, a lot there. Some people might want to see the mega bass ones in depth. Um. They're D Wave pencils, or I can't remember what they're called, but I can let you know if you want to know. But Water Dog, they're about 20 ish quid or 18 pounds, something like that. Repellers, more repellers, about 10 a piece. Um, Lucky Craft Sammies, 115s, um, Savage Gear, they're um, 9.5. They're 13s. Yes, I have three brand new in there. Three brand new in there. Two in there and another one in my box. Why? Because I waited so long for these to come in stock in them colours and everyone kept buying them and I waited about six months. So when they come in stock, I made sure I had some spares. Uh, some random fox. Another mates. There you go, the same mate. Divers. Strike Pro Fox. Some more Abu and Dawas, just random ones in there. Um, some of these are pricey ish, they're about 16 quid. That's um, Lucky Craft Pointer, they're about, I think they're about 16 ish, I can't remember. Um, that's a Bent Minnow OSP or something, I believe, but they're about 20 pound. Duo in there, Daiwa. Pachinko, water dog pachinkos are 20 quid. Some more random laws. Fox spike shads. Random laws in here. Some of them are cheap. Just random ones. They're little savage gear. 8 centimeters. They're good for perch. Little pipes. Still random ones. Little frogs. Run that across the water. Weedless hook. Savage gear, soft plastic fish. More savage gear, plastic fish there. They're fish arrows. They're quite a bit. Little perch. I've actually had seven pound pike on one of these. Actually, one of these in this box that's got a slit in it somewhere. But it's a fair sized pike. And a little law. These are diewares. These are um, Z-Man laws. Some big ones there. Random ones, some big eels. A lot of people like them. A pipe plug in there, some eels, a spinner bait, strike chrome there, plug, abbey, little pike. There, um, the pile of super shad. There's two in there, some other random ones. I have another three super shads there, I have five of them. Savage Gear Eel, some alien eel things. Storm, Savage Eels, Savage Fish. 
big perch, the box is all full. There's too many to get out in one video. More Savage gear plugs, two big 24 centimeters there. There's two 19s there, Pike one and uh, Pigment Error. Uh, big cat plug, which is funny. Big cat, don't know if it's a mirror cap or whatever, I'm not into catfishing, so I wouldn't know. Big storm law, just random laws. Some more Savage eels and swim baits and whatnot in there. They're all fox. Some crayfish, Savage gear crayfish. Some big savage fish, 19 centimetres. I have a lot more in uh, my other box as well, like silver ones and whatnot. And some more random spinners and bits and bobs. Savage gear plugs. A savage gear prey, I believe. But yeah, as you see, quite a lot of plugs. But you know, um, you lose them and they get teared up by pikes. Um, these are all for pike. Um, a lot of my more expensive ones I do use on a, more like a sea bass and pollocks and bass and that from the sea that don't have teeth so they don't trash them up so much. Um, depending on how scratched up some of my expensive ones get I will throw them to pipe. I don't really care if they scratch them up and whatnot. Like um, I had a pike on this one the other day, only like a little two pound jack but he didn't even scratch it. Sometimes they don't if they just get the hook, but sometimes I get them second hand and a lot and I pay hardly anything for them like this zunk. It's got like a couple of like little scratches like that. They're a bit scratched at that, I just throw them to the pike anyway. But if they're mint condition and that, like that one's brand new, I use them for like other fish or just whatever really. They're there to be used. I'm not really bad at losing them. I've got a law retriever anyway. 90% of the time that gets you law back for you anyway. But um, you lose them, you lose them. I'm not really that bad at losing them. I don't really cast like a, a Muppet like I know a few people do. And they're usually the ones that lose them because they just cast a bit silly. I've got about six rods I chased since I'm in another video. Um, if you see my previous video, I've got a Mega Bass rod and reel I use a lot. And um, that's really good for throwing the uh, Savage Gear um, spinner baits. Throws them really nice and Mega Bass rod because it's actually Pacific Crank and spinner bait rod. So even though I throw pretty much anything on it anyway, if it feels alright and it's in the casting weight range, then I throw anything on a rod. But yeah, peace out and uh, thanks for looking. If you want any more info on any more laws, just let me know. Cool.